Hello everyone, in this video we're going to check out the updated FC3 clickable mod where they made some of the controls in the cockpit clickable. You don't get any audio feedback and you don't get the visual feedback that you know the switch that you clicked on moved but you will still at least you know get the response that you expect you know like if you turn on the left engine you know of course the engine to start up also I of course tried this out in VR earlier and it worked great I was able to click on everything in cold start I didn't need to use voice attack I didn't need to do the binds you know for like start left engine start right engine turn on electric power switch none of that i was able to just go in the cockpit and click on it so it's pretty intuitive it makes fc3 more immersive i would say um, makes it feel even better so in this video you can skip and look at the jet that you want to see the code start for so and i think this would be very helpful because people might they might go on a search mission trying to find the different uh, buttons to start up the engine and so forth. Well, in this video, you can skip to it and I'm saving you time. I want to let this let the RPMs go up a little bit on this left engine. Yep, now the right engine. We are good to go. All right, let's start up the MiG-29. First, cut on ignition. The next, left engine. Have to wait for the RPMs. I'm also watching my my inlet temperature here. That's just stabilized around 400. But we're gonna wait for the left engine. Should be good to go to start up the right engine. And the light went out. Right, yeah, you gotta click over there to the right of that. Now that light is on. Whoops, zoomed out too far. And landing gear is like over right here. Canopy is right here. Lower that. You just want to wait for this light to turn off, which it has. And 
That's it for the MiG-29. All right, let's start up the ATM. You notice when I click on the switch, we don't see any movement, right? So that's something to get used to. Unlike the high fidelity aircraft, when you click it, you get to see the switches move. So a little bit of an adjustment. But at least we can click on the controls. Okay, fired up the left engine. So yeah, just watching the, the gauges here. Watching the APU. Unlike some of the jets, you have to start the A-10 engines one at a time. Just like the MiG-29 actually. engine started now we see the AP is being used again Let's close this canopy that's a good job I'm guessing they bound everything they could buy. Pretty much all I wanted to show for the A-10 cold start. Should be good to go now. Nice and simple. All right, time for the Sukhoi 27. Turn on ignition. Start up the left. Go ahead and start up the right as well. It's nice because you can start them both up at the same time. Then you close your canopy. Got your landing gear right here. Flaps. That's it for this jet. Okay, let's start the Sukhoi 33, but it's just like the 27, pretty much. down the canopy landing gears right there and pretty much good to go right there 